The water bond developed out of this, this sort of ongoing conversation throughout the state through these uh, various hearings. And we wanted to make sure that the allocation of funds sort of mimicked that as well. And today's, uh, today's discussion is part of that, this, this uh, culture of collaboration and of conversation, particularly uh, here in, in disadvantaged, disadvantaged communities. So if the water bond is to be implemented in the way that it was designed and the way that the people of this region and others deserve, uh, deserve that it be implemented. It's important that people in this room talk together, talk openly, talk freely, and talk as real partners in the process. These are real funds, not just window dressing. Community, par uh, community participation has to be real as well. Including the 10% DAC funds was one of the top priorities in writing Proposition 1. Uh, $9.8 million for the Los Angeles region is very significant. I want those funds to have a real impact, and I want impacted communities to have a real voice, and that's why we're he here today. So through getting together like, we, uh, like this uh, today, we could ensure that NGOs, CBOs, and other entities working with disadvantaged communities in our region are, in our region are well aware that they can be part of the process. Getting money out of the door isn't enough. Anyone can do that. Our challenge is to ensure that the funds are spent as effectively as possible to maximize the lasting benefits of our communities. Years from now, if all we can say is, look how much money we spent in DAX, then we failed. We need to be able to say, look at the outcomes and how they were driven by the funding decisions that we made. I'm encouraged because I see a similar process working out in our efforts to re revitalize the LA River, and our partners on that project are here as well today. There's been a great cooperation between communities, NGOs, the county, and private funders. The AB 530 Working Group has been an effective way of keeping stakeholders and communicating. Even then, concerns and misunderstandings do pop up. So doing what you're doing today helps to build a foundation of openness and trust that can weather the occasional misunderstanding. Proposition one, Proposition 1 addresses some of California's most serious challenges. It is also one of the accomplishments that I'm most proud of. I'm committed to seeing this through. I hope today will be one of many discussions. And by getting out of our individual silos and talking with each other, we can ensure that DAC funds do the greatest good in our communities. I uh, hope that you're looking forward to that as well. But ultimately, what's most important for me today is from all of you to hear from one another, not just from me.